this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create video pins using Canva and Keynote. If you use Mac, this is the easiest way I have found to create video pins that don't take forever to render. So let's jump in. The first thing you're going to do is get into Canva and create a template for yourself. So I like to do uh, 1080 by 1920 for my template size. And this is actually gonna give me Instagram story templates to use, which I like the pre-done templates in most cases because they are sized out and they look nice already and I just have to edit them a little bit. So I usually just scroll through here until I find something that I like. I think this might be a good one. I usually just change the font. Let's just leave it at that. Let's just use this and let's just say this is a um, travel blog that we did so how to flat tow a jeep and then i would probably put my url on here okay and then i'm just going to name this travel blog video pin template and i'm going to download this quick it downloaded and I'm gonna open it up into Keynote so we're in Keynote now what you're gonna do is just open up a new white blank template and delete these boxes and then you're gonna go to up here it's gonna be like document or something you can't see it but it's up in the here make this smaller it's here document and then you're gonna change the size to custom and it's going to be 1080 by 1920. Click OK. Now from your downloads, you're going to go pull that into here. And then we're going to pull the video in here as well. So let's just choose a video that I have on my desktop already. And this is a good one. It's not exactly what I need, but that's OK. And it's going to give you this. That's okay. Now your movie is going to be in here. What you're going to do is you're going to... Yep, that works. You're going to resize it a little bit to wherever you want it to be. And then you are going to go over here to export. And then you're going to make this self-playing. And you're going to change these both to zero. You can change the resolution if you want to. I always put it to 1080p. Click next name it and it's going to create the movie for you so this process is really fast compared to doing it in photoshop photoshop takes longer because the video takes a long time to render okay once the movie is done downloading you're going to go over to your downloads and you can open it up here and you will see that it is a Pinterest size image. Let's just shrink this down a bit so you can see. And the video will now play. So the video is embedded within the Pinterest size image and you now have a video pin that is tall. You could do this with multiple sizes, 1000 by 1500 or I use the 1080 by 1920. You can do stacked images here. So you could do a video and you could do a a uh, still image with some text in the middle really however your design wants it you know whatever you want your design to be but with the same technique essentially and then you're gonna take this and you're gonna manually upload it to Pinterest to their pin builder give it a really keyworded title as well as a description and then link it to wherever you want it linked to so this could link to YouTube this could link to Facebook or it could link to your blog wherever your video lives that you want to drive traffic to. In most cases, for our travel blog, it's either YouTube or our website. But this is how to create a video pen with Keynote.